Ezekiel chapter 33 verses 7 to 9. If you do not speak out to dissuade the wicked from his way, I will hold you responsible for his death, thus says the Lord. You, son of man, I have appointed watchmen for the house of Israel, when you hear me say anything, you shall warn them for me, for me. If I tell the wicked, O wicked one, you shall surely die, and you do not speak out to dissuade the wicked from his way, the wicked shall die for his guilt, but I will hold you responsible for his death. But if you warn the wicked, trying to turn him from his way, and he refuses to turn from his way, his guilt, but you shall save yourself. Ezekiel was born around 622 BC during the rule of King Josiah, the 16th king of Judah. King Josiah began his reign at the age of 8 and continued for the next 31 years. King Josiah has been credited with compiling and preserving important scriptures. Ezekiel was 13 when King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon began the captivity or exile of the Jews to Babylon. When Jehoiakim surrendered to Nebuchadnezzar, those who belonged to the upper classes, and those in positions of power were exiled to Babylon. Ezekiel was about 25, and was being trained for the priesthood, when he was deported to Babylon. It was during this time that Ezekiel was called by God to be his prophet. Being a watchman wasn't a risk-free job, instead it was dangerous. Verse 7, You, son of man, I have appointed watchmen for the house of Israel. When you hear me say anything, you shall warn them for me. God had appointed Ezekiel to act as a watchman to Israel. As a watchman he was to warn the people of the need to repent and obey. If the watchman did not warn them he was held responsible for the blood of the people and his own as well. Ezekiel's mission, mission, his goal, was to teach and save the Israelites from themselves and show them that everyone was important to God, and all God expected in return was their personal obedience, and worship. As God's watchman, Ezekiel understood the tremendous responsibility to do God's work and at the same time to protect his fellow man. If the watchman fails in his responsibility, his life, and the lives of the people in the city were endangered. The death of those who hear the word of the Lord, but refuse to listen and believe, will have brought upon themselves the resulting negative results. As his warnings were fulfilled, Ezekiel was changed from a meek and man, into one who was tough-minded and courageously bold in order that he might save his people. As prophesied, the Jewish people would be allowed to return to Jerusalem after 70 years of captivity or exile. They needed to leave their sinful ways behind and obey the word of the Lord. God then allowed King Cyrus of, per Cyrus of Persia, to defeat, Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, who then allowed all who wanted, to return, and rebuild Jerusalem and its temple. In Mark chapter 1 verse 15, Jesus says, This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent, and believe in the gospel. Repent and believe in the gospel, are the same words used by a priest who is our modern-day watchman of the local parishioners' souls, when he anoints the congregants with the penitential ashes, on the first day of Lent, Ash Wednesday. The Bible tells us that it is God's will, his desire, that we are in heaven. In order to do that, we need to obey the Ten Commandments, and when we fail, to repent by asking him for forgiveness.